in this video we will learn about the properties of non metals so we know that elements are pure substance the simplest form of pure substance made up of similar type of atoms and based on the chemical properties we classify them as metals non metals semi metals which are also called as metalloids and we can either have these inert gases which are helium neon argon krypton as separate group of elements or either we can include them uh, in the column of or in the category of non metals so as the name says non metals are elements which do not exhibit the properties of metals right and semi metals exhibit the properties of both metals and non metals and so they are called semi semi metals means half metals and half non metals so now if you consider the a periodic table uh, that is the classification of elements based on the properties they are grouped you have the three fourth of the periodic table or the elements which are discovered so far are metals and the column of elements which divide the metals and non metals which is arranged as a step here are the metalloids are they are also called as semi metals so they are boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony tellurium boron b silicon si germanium ge arsenic as antimony sb and tellurium te so these are the six elements which are in between these two group of elements right so they are semi metals or metalloids we use them in as a semiconductor semiconductors means they are partial conductors or they don't conduct heat and electricity just like metals so they just conduct in a very fair manner so we call them as semiconductors which are used in electronic items like in your computers mobile phones and so on so they are just six elements sometimes polonium and astatine are included so it is enough for you to learn the these uh, symbols of six elements boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony and tellurium are the semi metals or metalloids you will learn about the properties in detail in the next year now we are going to learn about the properties of the non metals which is very easy as it is just the opposite of the metals so as you see in this column the most of the non metals exist in gaseous state which are given here in green color they are nitrogen oxygen fluorine chlorine and the set of rare gases which exist as gas right they exist in gaseous state at normal room temperature and the only liquid non metal is bromine are you able to see br is a symbol bromine is the only liquid non metal similarly as you learnt in your previous exception of uh, metals which exist in liquid state at room temperature it was mercury hg is a symbol mercury is the only liquid metal similarly bromine is the only liquid non metal which exist in liquid state at room temperature right most of the non metals are gases and carbon phosphorus sulfur and iodine are the non metals which exist in solid state now we will discuss about the properties by just comparing with the metals so we know that metals are generally solids they are hard right and we uh, have an exception mercury which exists in liquid state hg is mercury metals are generally hard an exception is this alkali metals lithium sodium potassium now we are going to just write the properties of non metals so metals are uh, exist in solids and gaseous state and we have examples for them so gaseous state non metals are oxygen nitrogen halogens are nothing but fluorine chlorine right and then bromine cannot be included here because bromine exist in liquid state fluorine chlorine are not are the highly reactive non metals they are also called as halogens halogens are salt producers you will learn about them later in higher classes so the liquid non metal is bromine you remember the exception right they will they will ask you in objectives and the solid state non metals are carbon sulfur and phosphorus iodine of course it's a non metal but usually non metals will not have a shine we know that metals have a luster or a metallic luster which is called as the general property of metals but when you talk about non metals they are generally dull but iodine is a very uh, shiny non metal right we will just write the exceptions here except iodine iodine is the uh, substance which you would have learned already in 6th standard that the substance will sublime that is it will get converted from solid state to gaseous state on heating when you heat iodine it will directly go to the gaseous state without melting into liquid state you remember the definition of uh, sublimation 
so uh, substance sublimes that is it moves from solid state to gaseous state usually when you heat a substance it will melt but this is an exception iodine will sublime and that iodine is a non metal which will have a shine so generally non metals are dull which is an opposite of shine malleability is the next property which you are going to discuss metals are generally malleable non metals are non malleable right metals are ductile that is you can draw them into wires non metals are non ductile you cannot draw them into wires they are brittle actually metals are generally brittle what is the opposite of hardness brittle brittle means it will break when you hammer it it will break so you cannot make them into a sheet or you cannot draw them into wires if you don't if you cannot remember the spelling you just write cannot be made into sheet cannot be made into sheet cannot be drawn into wires this way you can write right similarly you cannot make them into wires right and uh, we have an exception here usually metals are brittle that is they are not hard as non metals are brittle that is they are not hard as metals but you have an exception diamond which is the form of carbon it is also an allotrope of carbon it is a, another physical form of carbon diamond is a non metal which is hard and it is used in cutting industry to cut other diamonds and glasses glasses it is used in glass industry so diamond is an another exception of a non metal which will be hard in uh, state i mean uh, hardness will be there it will be very hard it is used in cutting industry and generally metals are good conductors of heat and electricity whereas non metals are bad conductors of heat and electricity again we have an exception graphite so where do you see graphite remember have you ever heard of this word graphite it is used in the pencil lead pencil lead is made up of graphite and so it is again another form of carbon which conduct electricity so graphite is another exception which you have to remember so graphite is a form of carbon which will conduct electricity it is a non metal so exceptions i have given you here right now you recall the metals gold is a most malleable metal au is a symbol it's not an exception but i'm just giving you the extra facts that you have to remember and silver is the most good very good conductor of heat and electricity the symbol is ag remember ag is a very good conductor of silver is the so, uh, symbol is ag it is a very good conductor of uh, electricity and platinum is a very uh, excellent ductile metal the most ductile metal of all the metals platinum pt is its symbol similarly diamond is a non metal which is very hard and iodine is a non metal which is shiny and graphite is a non metal which is also a form of carbon just like diamond which will conduct electricity so these are the exceptions which you have to remember just recall the properties of non metals non metals are generally uh, gases exception bromine which is a liquid state and carbon sulfur phosphorus iodine are in the solid state non metals are generally brittle exception diamond which is a very hardest non metal known right and non metals uh, are dull that is they don't have a shine except iodine which have a shine and which also sublimes right non metals cannot be made into sheets non metals cannot be drawn into wires that is they are non malleable and non ductile non metals do not conduct heat and electricity exception except graphite which is also a form of carbon which will conduct electricity so these are the properties of non metals and metalloids as i told you ex exhibit the properties of both metals and non metals example boron silicon germanium arsenic antimony this is sb sb is antimony tellurium polonium so learn the symbols sb is antimony antimony the stim uh, the symbol is sb it is derived from the latin name stibium we will learn uh, learn the symbols and its uh, name from which it is derived in the next video so antimony is denoted with the symbol sb tellurium polonium so learn the metalloids which are also called as semi metals and learn the properties of non metals which is very easy because it is an exact opposite of metals hope you followed thank you